pH of a solution is arrived at by getting the hydronium ion concentration, taking the log of that, and then making it a negative. So it's on a logarithmic scale that we measure pH. And, and a lot of people say, okay, the pH of the solution, it goes from like, pHs go from like 1 to 14. No, you can have pHs less than 1 and even less than 0. You can have pHs that are greater than 14. pH scale, there's not really a scale so much as 7. 7 is right in the middle. And anything less than 7 is an acid. Anything greater than 7 is a base. So, in a graphing calculator, most people have graphing calculators now to do this. All you do is you type in negative, then hit your log button, then type in the hydronium, and then press enter, you got yourself the pH. Yeah, but, oh boy, how do you do it if you've got a concentration of an acid? That's not the hydronium. Well, if it's a strong acid, now listen, how many strong acids are there? Six. If somebody gives you the concentration of a strong acid, it's exactly the same as saying, here's the concentration of hydronium. Okay, so to find the pH here, the pH equals the negative log of the hydronium. Since HCl is hydronium, they dissociate 100% again, it's the negative log of 0.2. When you type that into your calculator, you get 0 decimal 7, 0. And a lot of you are saying, yeah, that's right, because you've got two significant digits, so you keep two significant digits. That's not the way it works with pH, so stay with me and listen to this rule. It's very important. The number of significant digits in your hydronium ion concentration tells you how many numbers after the decimal to keep in your pH. It's a logarithmic scale, like I said, so all bets are off with significant digit comparisons. So, sig digs equal decimal places kept. So look at this one. If you've got the pH of 0.3 mole per liter sodium hydroxide, how do you find the pH of that? The first thing you need to do is you need to calculate the hydronium ion concentration because NaOH, well that's got OH in it, and when you see that hydroxide, one hydroxide, that's the concentration of hydroxide in solution, not hydronium. So then how could you do that? Well, I'll show you. Here it is. But it's done in a very straightforward type of fashion. Watch what I mean. The pH equals the negative log of the hydronium. But I don't have the hydronium. I have the concentration of the hydroxide here. Yeah, yeah, okay. But 1 times 10 to the negative 14, the Kw, divided by that hydroxide does equal the hydronium. Now, you're looking at this and you say, well, okay, there's three significant digits there and three there, so keep three. But a lot of people would then say 13.5. No, 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 no. 13.477. Significant digits equals number of decimal places kept in the pH. Does that make sense? Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. It's got a nice high pH. HCl has got a very low pH for an acid. That one's below 1. So you see, that pH scale I'm talking about doesn't really come into play other than 7 means neutral. Barium hydroxide is a strong base too, but look, here's the thing that'll get you every time. Your teacher is not going to say to you, BaOH in brackets 2 is the formula. He'll just say barium hydroxide, and you'll say, oh, that's hydroxide, so I'll just take the concentration of 0.25 moles per liter and plug it into my formula. No, because barium hydroxide has two OHs in it. When it dissociates in solution, it forms two hydroxide ions, and so 0.25 mole per liter barium hydroxide actually has 0.5 mole per liter hydroxide ion in it. Get it? So therefore, you have to calculate the pH with that concentration. Now, I wanted to show you something else. That pH, the H stands for the hydronium. So the P stands for the negative log part. Negative log of hydronium. Well, if you take the negative log of the hydroxide, you get the POH. And if you add a pH and a pOH together of, of the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide that are in every solution of acid and base, you'll get the number 14. And so, if we wanted to calculate the pH here, the pH could equal, rearrangement of this formula, 14 minus the pOH. So that's the 14 minus the negative log. You can just go plus log, of course, but I just wanted to show it to you. 14 minus the negative log of that concentration of hydroxide. That will give you right there the pOH. Subtract it from 14, and that's the pH. 
And in this case, the pH is going to be 13.70. Notice that two significant digits means two numbers after the decimal kept in the pH. So be careful of those multiple hydroxide ones, they'll get you every time. Well, not you, of course, you understand.